The gas is the fibrous residue that's left after sugarcane is crushed. One ton of cane produces about 250 kilos of bagasse, which accumulates quickly. Large dunes of bagasse are a typical feature of Brazilian cane processing mills. A system of conveyor belts transfers the bagasse from its storage area to boilers, which produce vapor. The vapor powers turbines that generate renewable electricity or bioelectricity. Control centers equipped with the latest technology monitor the electricity produced, utilized, or exported by the mill to national distribution grids. All Brazilian mills are self-sufficient in energy, producing more than enough electricity to cover their own needs. A growing number of mills is generating a surplus, which is sold to power companies and helps to light up numerous cities throughout Brazil. In the near future, the gas is also seen as an ideal raw material to produce second generation or cellulosic biofuels. The expanding use of bioelectricity, combined with the wide-scale use of ethanol, explain why sugarcane is already the second largest source on the Brazilian energy matrix, which is considered the cleanest in the world. In early 2010, about 2,000 average megawatts, or 3% of Brazil's electricity needs, were being supplied by sugarcane-based bioelectricity. That total could reach 13,000 average megawatts by 2021 if all potential sources are fully developed. That would be enough to cover the needs of entire countries, like Sweden or Argentina.